What a sad day for Bleach fans. For those who don't know, the manga is ending and probably in about five weeks now. I'm not too sure when it's ending. Normally when they announce something like this, the manga will end in like five weeks. So I'm just assuming it's five weeks till the manga ends. So that is a sad thing. But before you leave the video thinking I'm a Bleach tar just whining about the manga ending, I'm not mad about the manga ending. I'm just afraid that it will be rushed because it just seems too rushed here like I know the manga is at a close and it just seems like everything was wrapped and up but I don't think you could finish all of it in five chapters now if it's more than five chapters well then depending on how many chapters say like 10 or 15 yeah you can wrap the story up but five chapters I'm not too sure there would have to be some bull crap in there in just my opinion if they were gonna do five more chapters so hopefully it's more than five more chapters if anyone knows if it's five chapters or more please tell me in the comments below and the second reason I'm kind of disappointed about this and it's sad is because the chances of an anime coming now are just very low and I know people will say oh D Grayman got a new anime without a manga I think it was like I think the manga was over but the thing is is like I don't think it's as likely for Bleach to get one, but who knows, if people say since D. Gray Man got one that Bleach can get one too, and I don't honestly know that much about D. Gray Man, so if you're a fan of D. Gray Man, um, I'm sorry if I've been like saying things that may not be right about D. Gray Man, but anyways, that's two reasons why I'm kind of disappointed, and the third reason, obviously, because I'm a Bleach fan, but besides all that, let's get to this review. Now, this chapter itself was actually really good, and... I like how Juhabak told Rukia and Renji, he was basically like, alright, I'm going to find the future where you two are the most happiest and you have the most joy and I'm going to destroy you. Like, this guy is a savage. And Hoshwa is over there telling Uryu that he wouldn't have got anywhere without you watch and he would have been basically nothing if he stayed with Ichigo and the rest of them and... These, they're not joking around, like, U not Uryu, Hoshwal and you watch almost said Uryu, are, they're taking this serious, like, they are wrecking Uryu and Ichigo, like, Uryu got wrecked by Hoshwal, now, I'm not too sure, Uryu might flip the situation, he might have a trump card, and Ichigo, I'm a little bit worried that he will get some, like, bullcrap power up, and Juhabak will be helpless, so I'm hoping hopefully Aizen will show up or something and then like Ichigo will get a will to fight but they won't wreck you watch and like that they will just like kind of be even with him and hopefully more of the five powers will show up I don't know about Urahara because he may be dead and Kimpachi he's kind of down for the count but Aizen and Ichigo are still up and running and I forgot the other war potential for some reason oh yeah no, I forgot the other war potential. I'm sorry. Please leave that in the comments below. But this chapter is really good. But the one thing that got me is like, what is Rukia and Renji going to do against you watch? Like, Ichigo just got destroyed by this guy. What do they expect they're going to do? So overall, this chapter was pretty good. Now, one thing I do want to mention is the thing that Juhabak was about to go into. Was that like a portal to different futures? Now, that's just me maybe... I'm just like hallucinating or when I read that but it seemed like there was this like black little portal that was surrounding him that he was about to go into and that was right when Rukia and Renji showed up so I'm kind of wondering about that but that's really all I have for this chapter review like I said the manga is ending but this chapter was great and I'm hoping that they don't rush this series to its end I'm just kind of assuming the reason why it's ending kind of soon it's not too soon because it was going to end probably sometime this year or next year anyways but the reason why I think it kind of is going to end is because I think Kubo is fed up with Shonen Jump or Shonen Jump is just like all right Bleach isn't bringing too much sales like it used to so let's just ditch it all right Kubo finish it up and they rush the ending I hope that's not the case. I hope the case is that, you know, Kubo, he's just like, all right, I'm done with my series, and I'm kind of fed up with Jump, and he actually finishes it very well. Also, I want to mention the thing about Bleach and the sales. The sales aren't bad. It's just, like, they don't sell like they used to. 
and I kind of want to mention that, like, I'm not saying that Bleach doesn't sell that much anymore, because I know it does sell pretty well, I mean, to get in the top 30 for manga sales, that's still pretty good, so, yeah, that's all I have for this review, guys, give me a like if you enjoyed this video, comment down below, tell me what you thought of this chapter, and what do you think about the manga ending, now, subscribe for more content, guys, anyways, Xeno. <laughs>